Hello, I am going to introduce you to color correction in After Effects. Color correction is used to alter the overall color of a shot. Now there are a number of reasons why you might want to use uh, color correction for your footage. It allows you to make sure that key elements in your program look the way they should. It could be used to balance all the shots in a scene to match. It could help achieve a look of fulfill a goal of what you want your shot to look like. And it can also be used to create contrast or special effects. Now, color correction is just one step of the entire filmmaking process, but it can have a huge impact on your final product. Mediocre footage can be adjusted and significantly improve the quality and viewing experience of your film. With all that said, let's get right to it. So, I have a clip, and I have it selected right here. Okay. What you want to do is go to Effect color correction helps if you actually have a clip selected now two effects are I, I use two effects primarily for different reasons uh... curves and levels are used often with after effects so let's start with levels which show a histogram of your image right over here While color correcting, you want to adjust two things. You want to adjust the luminance, the lights and the darks, and the brightness and lightness of the image, and you want to adjust the color. So if you move the, the arrows underneath the luminance around over here, where you see the mouse in the top left corner, you can see that you can make it brighter by moving to the left, and a little darker by moving to the right. And I mean, that's, of course, too dark, but that's a little bit luminance. So I wanted to make it a little darker because I thought the lighter aspects, I thought the video was a little bit lighter. Then underneath you have this uh, scroll, uh, it, it basically affects the opacity. So you see you can't really see the image if you move to the right. I don't use it much but I'm just there to show you it exists. <laughs> and that, that is outputs. Now let's talk about curves. So we're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, and Curves. You'll see this graph up here, over here on your left, okay? And, and uh, that's how you adjust the curve. Now you m move the curve a little bit to adjust the lighting. The further you go down, the darker your image gets. And the higher you go up, the lighter your image gets. There's a reset button to move it back in case you don't want to uh, mess around with it too much. Curves is more visual than levels. Uh, now this is using RGB. You can also adjust from red, green, or blue. Okay. So let's go into blue, for example. Okay. To add some blue, the shot will raise the curve up a notch a little bit. You can see there's some blue in the shadowing. As I add it up, you could also create an S curve like shape, which is recommended sometimes so that it's not too strong with the shadows, but you still get some blue feel. I mean, color correction is personal preference, you know. You're, you're supposed to play around. You probably won't know the exact adjustments you want to make, um, but that's why you gotta just play around with it and get the look that you want that you feel seems necessary for the image now there's two types of color correction there's primary color correction and there's secondary color correction primary color correction is when you affect the entire shot as a whole so as we added blue to this image right here uh... the entire shot was affected secondary color correction is when you get specific of one area so let's just say that here's me reading a newspaper, okay? I've got a maroon sweatshirt on and a red shirt underneath. Let's say we would want to change the red shirt a little bit. So I'm actually going to undo the blue and then just you have this shape. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to go into layer, new, adjustment layer. And with that selected, you're going to hit the pen tool, 
is this tool up here. With that selected, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to trace as carefully, or rather carefully, around the red image, red shirt. I guess I didn't really think too hard because it's a rather circular, tough trace object. And we'll give it that, you know, okay. So, So you're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Change to Color. And then you'll get this menu on the top left corner. Okay. So from here, we're going to select this dropper on the From option. Okay. And we're going to go back over here and select a, uh, te a generic color from here. Okay. So we got this red. Okay. And then here, there's a two option, okay? We're going to select the white box. And then this color option is going to pop up and we're going to we're going to change the shirt to blue. Okay, a nice white baby blue, sky blue. And as you can see, the shirt is now blue. The rest of the shot is not. So there are some of the basic uh, basics of color correction. Remember, there's primary and there's secondary. Okay. It, it is totally free will. Um, adjust as you wish to get the best film you want. Okay. Uh, and, and again, it's more experimentation. It's very hard to you know give you the specifics on the tips. But thank you for watching.